For those that have been on a low carb journey for a long time, you ever think back to the very beginning and compare like what you were going through then compared to what you know and what you do now? Hey there, njroot22.com with another low carb keto carnivore chat. And we might have mentioned this in the past, but uh, we like to talk about the difference between our mindset when we started the low carb journey about a decade or a little more ago and now and how different it is. Um, it's much better now. It's much easier, let's just say. Uh, in the beginning, like when we were just learning about what, what was going on, we didn't really know anything. Uh, we, were, we were stressing out and worrying about what we could and couldn't eat. And I guess the first couple years to undo the uh, addiction of the foods that uh, you were used to eating. In our case, it was like sandwiches, burgers, french fries, pizza. Pizza was my number one food. Um, and, and, you know, I guess some of the first hiccups we made was trying to replace the food that we used to love with low carb alternatives. And it really just never really worked out. Um, number one, it didn't taste as good. And, you know, taste is subjective. You know, taste is often wired into your brain and it's, it tastes, you think it tastes good, but it's really, maybe it's not all that good after all. It's like a multi faceted sensation. It's not just on your tongue. I don't know, brain power, you know, how it goes. But a lot of times, like I, I'll mention to people and, and people on my vlog and my readers on my website, um, like, you know, it's easy to say, oh, I wish I knew then what I knew now. And, you know, the simple knowledge is not enough. Um, I guess a more accurate uh, statement would be, I wish I would have all the experiences I had in the, in the past 10 years then which you realize is kind of impossible because experience is something that you have to experience firsthand. You know, I, I've said this before and anyway, like it was all going like vegetables, no, whatever the case was. And then it took years for me to realize that these things that I thought were healthy, what other people think are healthy, aren't all that good for you. Now our, our rule I mentioned many months ago, it's a simple trick. Don't raise your blood sugar. And as you live through that, um, that mantra or whatever, you realize that uh, it comes down to basically meat. And that's why a lot of low carb people and keto people and paleo people um, end up being carnivore because they realize that that's the perfect food, uh, meat, red meat. And of course, eggs and depending on the person, uh, dairy and all that. But when you just eat meat, it's the greatest thing that happens that you just stop thinking about food. You just eat your meat. You never get full or bloated or sluggish or slow or, or lethargic and you just eat and you move on. And then you, it just feels good. It's not just about, you know, not being terribly obese or physically ill because you're carrying around too much weight, you know, joints and so on, heart problems. Uh, you just, um, you feel better. So even if you're not perfect, I'm far from being at my goal, meeting my goal, but in general, I feel really great. Physically capable every day, no pains, no aches, and a lot of energy. And even with the, with the drinking involved, which is probably uh, something I have to knock off the list. But that's it. That those are the things. I think we had to go through it. Maybe if we started the low carb journey in 2020, it may, we may have reached the destination sooner or maybe not at all because of all the misinformation out there and all the other complicated diets and plans. And I don't know. That's it. If you liked the video, please hit uh, the bell and subscribe and we'll see you next time.